What's up, everybody? This is Techno Blast. Thank you for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. So, what is going on with Sony this week? It's been a wild week for them, and nobody has an understanding of what's happening with them. Recently, a document was leaked stating that app on April 1st, all those digital download card, you know, cards will no longer be valid. They will no longer sell them at the retail stores, and no one seems to understand why. Uh, there's been no explanation. There's been a memo sent out to all the retail stores. First, it was the one that leaked out from GameStop that this is happening, that no more game digital downloads will be sold at retail stores um, after April 1st. People get these cards it's because it's a con it's convenient you can run out to a store get it and sometimes and this is true both for xbox and playstation you can find better game codes online other than psn or xbox live sometimes amazon will have a sale of digital codes you know at a discounted rate um, so we you know we get to lose that and still we don't have an explanation why they're doing this what the, what's their plan there's got to be something there's got to be a reason financially or something that they decided to do this uh, another major reason why people prefer using these download cards because people do not trust the sony network they always every year they get compromised with something the network goes down or you know credit cards get leaked it's something every year and who wants to store their credit card number on their ecosystem if they're gonna be compromised every year now you will still be able to buy those ten dollar twenty dollar twenty dollar the fifty seventy five and one hundred dollar cards and those will still be sold and used so those won't get affected it's just the game ones that you won't be able to buy anymore at all retail stores they're gonna be gone you won't have an option um, I wish with Sony would come out with something official other than the leak that we saw to explain why they're doing this I think it's a huge mistake because it takes away an option for people to buy games as I always say, it's always great to have several options to purchase um, gaming items. Doesn't matter which platform it is. So that's what's happening this week. It's kind of crazy. Um, people still confused and nobody knows why. So tell me what you guys think about this. If you think uh, it's cool, no big deal, you know, you don't buy it. Or it irks you because you know this is the way you buy games put them down in the comment section i'd like to hear from you guys all right guys until then take a must out